In this lesson, we will first get familiar with the user interface that Microsoft Project offers. Before you start creating project schedules like a pro, it is important that you understand the functionality of the tool itself. On this screen, you will see the various features of the interface. This screen may look intimidating to a new user because of the number of buttons and controls. But this is very natural and one should not fear as I will walk you through all aspects of the interface and make you familiar and comfortable with it. So let us look at them one by one. The first is Microsoft's Fluent Interface, also known as the Ribbon. If you have used any recent Microsoft Office product like Word or Excel, you would already be very familiar with this interface. The good thing about this design is that the tabs, that is a task, resource, reports, project, etc. are designed very closely to your actual work in Microsoft Project as you will find out while working on the exercises in this course. Then we have the quick access toolbar here. This is a customizable toolbar similar to those found on Internet Explorer. As the name suggests, this quick access toolbar is designed to give you rapid access to the commands that you use the most. You can very easily customize it to hold the controls that you use the most. Next, the mini toolbar. This is the mini toolbar and the contextual menu. Both of which can be accessed by right clicking at different locations on the interface. Options that you see on this menu will change dynamically depending on the context where you right click. Now let us look at the status bar. This is the status bar. By default, the status bar includes a task mode for new tasks control. Remember, we had seen this in the first lesson. Then there are quick links to different views. The Gantt chart view, task usage view, team planner, resource sheet, reports, and finally here you have the zoom control. These are all different views and this is how you can control into a view. Now if you right click on the status bar, a contextual menu pops up which shows several other menu options. We will understand what views are in the next lesson coming up. Backstage, when you click on the file tab here, you enter what is called by Microsoft as the backstage view. Here you have commands and controls to manage file operations and also manage options for controlling behavior of Microsoft project itself through this project options dialog box. And now finally the last thing we will look at is the tell me interface. Microsoft has introduced this new control on the menu bar here with its new range of 2016 products. That is an extension of the help system. In fact, Microsoft calls this help me on steroids. The key new feature is that this control short circuits what you are looking for help upon by intuitively making it available to you in the working interface. More on this control in a later lesson. Now we have seen the seven most important user interface aspects of Microsoft Project 2016 at a high level. Throughout this course, we will be looking greatly more in depth into these features as and when they are required in our examples and lessons. Please take the time to familiarize yourself with the interface.